Oh, wow. Hi there. This is sort of a sloppy lesson in how to do leather tooling because I'm not really very good at it. This is a belt that I've been making for Rick. And when I packed up this stuff or started to, I discovered that I hadn't quite finished it. So I thought I'd finish it before I mail these tools off. And you've got to start by wetting your leather. And you don't want to over wet it, but you need to have it wet enough so you can make impressions. And I had previously carved that design into it. Hold still. And that gives me the outline. And then um, I'm re wetting it again. And I had wet it a little while ago, so it doesn't need to be wet too much this time. Just re-wet it a little bit and let it soak in. And then very carefully take whatever tool you're using and go up against the edge of the line that you've scribed. And give it a pound or two. Doesn't take much pressure. The trick is getting up against that line without going over it. I'm not very good at that, but... That's practice and I haven't had enough in a long time. And you can see it's starting to make little impressions in there. And I kind of bring it around. I'll bring the point into the corner. I'll bring the point way down into this corner, this, this particular tool. And you have to switch off tools once in a while. To maybe get a pointy one in a corner and something else for a bigger area. Anyway, that's, and then you just start beating it down and then making your impressions. And the different tools have different kinds of designs on them, so you can pick and choose what kind of an impression you want. And I just sort of fill it in. Try to get it fairly even, overall even look. And there's lots of different techniques that you can use for different patterns, but this is what I'm doing on this one. I get back into that corner again, make a nice sharp. And sometimes you want to tilt your tool a little bit to give a nice sharp edge on it, but normally you would hold it up fairly straight. It's got a rounded bottom. Some of them have rounded bottoms, so you can aim them one way or another. But generally you want to hold them straight. Anyway, that felt, whoops, nope, I got to do that. I didn't get that edge good. So you can see how the grain is inside of all of this carving. And that's essentially what you do. And then when you get done you have to clean the leather and <coughs> stain it and um, you'll learn about that in your classes and in the books and that's it have fun